Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good uh, early morning, early afternoon, Monday, February 13th, 2023. It's about 10.58 in the a.m. out here in California along the West Coast. Latest earthquake uh, somewhere out here around the globe. Looks like some movement over in Turkey once again, uh, as well as uh, some activity. Yeah, Turkey looks to be the latest one, that green flag here kind of hiding in the mix. Uh, I was just looking at this 4.6 down here into the New Zealand area, uh, coming in after a six pointer up along the Kermadec Trench. Now this 4.6, I believe is in error. I was just checking out the uh, EMSC agency reporting on this quake and it is nowhere near a 4.6, the same timestamp as the GeoNet servers here. Uh, actually reporting that as a 3.3 so uh, after this update i'm definitely going to keep uh, geonet off of here because they are way over doing it in their terms of uh, the magnitude 3.3 uh, down here south of south island new zealand definitely not a 4.6 a huge difference but we did see some activity up here uh, along the kermadec trench let's go ahead and check this out real quick from the usgs showing that 6.1 coming in pretty deep into the Kermadec Islands area, Kermadec Trench, 300, goodness, 374 kilometers deep for this area. Uh, with this deeper movement, of course, got to remember upstream activity, uh, not only nearby, but also regionally. We need to watch areas North Island uh, into the uh, Tonga Trench uh, for some potential further movement. Of course, we did see that three-pointer down here along the South Island area, oh, that one coming in seven hours ago uh, seven hours and 41 minutes ago that um, took place following that 6.1 so a little bit of adjustment uh, almost immediately uh, further down south after that uh, larger quake there along the Kermadec Trench uh, let's see what we got here I'll we'll check out the GeoNet servers here real quick and we'll just give a quick glance here of the volcano or the uh, earthquake drums see what we got going on um i do see let's see here i do see that uh 6.1 pretty large earthquake here on one of the graphs now there's definitely uh it's hard to say if that was you know if that 4.7 is legit or not that they stated on the uh, south island area well, i don't want to go too much into it but there's definitely some activity uh kicking out here um, this morning, early this morning, into the uh, New Zealand area. So we'll watch this region pretty closely there. Uh, one earthquake here in the last hour, it looks like, into China, 5.1. Uh, up along this uh, mountain range here, it looks like, 10 kilometers deep. Continued activity over here further west in the Turkey, eastern Afghanistan, getting in on some activity there yesterday. And uh, a little bit of movement up into Romania, where they had a 5.0 earlier this morning kicking things up out here not too often uh, do we see earthquake activity out here a little spotty historically looking at the key here uh, there's only been a handful of four to five pointers in the vicinity of this epicenter of today's quake Atlantic Ocean awfully quiet not a whole lot popping off here uh, today so far and a pretty good cluster of earthquake movement up into the Puerto Rico area along the uh, Puerto Rico Trench here as well. Subduction zone that goes south here along the St. John's region. Looks like uh, some threes and twos kicking up. The largest appears to be that 4.6 from yesterday. Uh, but overnight we did see a couple other moderate sized quakes near the Mona Passage and some threes uh, scattered up here across the um, Puerto Rico Trench region. South America, a couple of earthquakes there from yesterday. I don't think we had too much overnight. Uh, look at the EMSC model here. Shows uh, some smaller quakes there in the 3 and 2 range, just a little bit further south of our cluster, which is occurring here, but uh, a little bit of deeper movement as we head further south along the plate boundary. All right, kind of zigzagging all over the place here. Um, down around the Philippines area. Looks like uh, most of this activity here from yesterday. I'm not really seeing anything overnight. 
uh, at least according to the USGS here in that locace, location. But uh, there is a pretty recent 4.1 here at the southern end of the Java Trench and some smaller quakes overnight here within that cluster around the uh, Maluka Sea and the Banda Sea region. A little bit of activity up here in Japan as well. That uh, earthquake coming in yesterday, 4.6. And the Kuril Islands earthquake, 5.2, 98 kilometers deep. Now, I think we did see something else up here that's fairly new. Let me see here. I see it in here. I believe it's going to be this five-pointer along the uh, Japan Trench, 4.8. That one coming in 1818 on the UTC time. So 1818 is just within this hour. USGS not picking up on it yet, uh, but it is a earthquake there along the Japan Trench, 45 kilometers deep for that 4.8. Of course, source parameters have not yet been reviewed by a seismologist. Hey, it's Monday morning. Grab your coffee. Let's get this into gear. Well, it's past Monday morning, right? All right, uh, let's see what else we got. The Aleutian Trench, a little bit of activity coming in uh, yesterday afternoon time period. Just a little spotty activity across the Anchorage area north to Denali. A look at the states here. Uh, Wyoming. Looks like they had another earthquake out there in the, uh, what is that? Ten Sleep, Wyoming? I have never heard of that location there. 3.7 earthquake. Now this area <clears throat> did see, let's see here, the last seven days, it did see some of, somewhat of another odd earthquake earlier uh, a couple days ago a 3.5 south of Yellowstone uh, and then today we got another oddball earthquake up against the Bighorn Mountains that's kind of where it's at right there 3.7 11 kilometers deep a little bit of odd earthquake activity around Yellowstone uh, showing two earthquakes here uh, those from yesterday, but let me check out the Yellowstone thumbnails here real quick and see what we got. There's going to be the uh, the three point uh, what's that one down here going to be three point seven that is showing up across the seismograph stations here early this morning. But far as um, far as any local seismic activity, we're swarming in relation to Yellowstone. Uh, there's really not a whole lot here couple spikes prior to that 3.7 but that's about it uh, some movement onto the sawtooth fault system early this morning as well just off of it looks like near Stanley Stanley Idaho 2.5 10 kilometers deep and what do we got here for the west coast kind of lighten up here um, some move some movement in the northern California Oh, it's Monday, right? It seems like it always does that on a Monday. I forget to turn off my alarm for something, and uh, sure enough, it goes off while I'm uh, while I'm on the microphone. All right, uh, yeah, a little bit of activity. It looks like Northern Cal from yesterday. I'm not seeing anything uh, overnight. Typical movement here, Clear Lake, volcanic field. I tend to just skip over this because it's an almost an ongoing deal of uh, earthquakes because of the hydrothermal operations there from... Uh, the energy solutions that take part there in that region of California, 2.0 near Hayward, that is on the um, the Hayward fault, I believe. This one's not working as far as the uh, oh the faults. My faults are missing. There's one off of the uh, San Andreas fault here, 1.5. Uh, let's see what else we got. A little bit of movement down here along the creeping segment. It's close to the Parkfield segment of the San Andreas fault, 1.7. And uh, if you look over here at Long Valley Super Volcano, a little bit of movement kicking up overnight, including a 2.7. It just sits, it sits uh, just outside of the yellow, the uh, Long Valley, Long Valley Caldera, south of Mammoth Lakes. Here, not a whole lot of activity, but just a little slight noticeable uptick. Extreme Southern California. Not a whole lot of uh, movement around the southern end of the San Andreas Fault right now, but we did have a 1.2 um, Riverside area. It looks like 8.8 .8 kilometers deep. Rest of the country here, uh, pretty 
pretty minimal, fairly minimal. Not a whole lot going on. Big Island, Hawaii, about the same here. Got uh, one earthquake outside of Kilauea, 2.8 here along the eastern edge of this um, zone here on the southeastern coast of Hawaii. Let's see. Take a look and see what's going on here since we had that activity, that a deeper activity down on the Kermadec Trench here. That's got to be putting quite a bit of some strain downstream for sure. So when was that 4.3? That kind of looks like that occurred at uh, last night, 10.45, 6.1 occurred. A 6.1 occurred about uh, 1.18. We did have some prior activity um, before that 6.1. But uh, I think it's definitely noteworthy to watch this area today. Uh, upstream regions of the Kermadec Trench. The only one earthquake shown up here on the USGS map, but uh, we definitely know there's a little bit more kicking off in that area. of uh, New Zealand I'm trying to see if I can find that other earthquake here that was listed yeah it looks like uh, what do we got kind of covers the area of North Island New Zealand 3.9 yeah nine hours ago is when that kicked up though all right uh, let's see what else we got here folks um just going to make this a quick update. I got to get a bunch of schoolwork done again today, unfortunately. A uh, tremor map from last night. Uh, very minimal. 24 epicenters of tremor. Not a big deal. We'll see what uh, tonight's update looks like, or today's, once it, once it upda updates. All right, space weather, the other big article here in the news, so to speak. Uh, we're still looking at a 25% chance for an X flare, M flare, an 80% chance, 99% certainty for a C flare. Now, looking at the uh, magnetic structure here of the sunspots, uh, this massive regional sunspot that has turned into view was very active once it was sitting over here, coming around the southeastern limb of the sun, has kind of pretty much died out. Uh, yes, it is still very massive, and there's a couple deep cores here, but they are not, uh, they're very stable. They're not uh, intermixing. I think one area we do got to watch right now is this growing sunspot <clears throat> coming around the bend. And it uh, looks like another new one right here. Let's see what we got here. I definitely haven't named it. haven't named it. I do not need to lose my voice. <clears throat> Goodness, let me grab some uh, something to drink here. What's in the air today? Who knows what? I wonder what this week's going to bring as far as news articles go. Maybe some more balloons floating in the air. Who knows? All right. Uh, yeah, so we'll just continue to watch this couple different sunspots up here uh, as we go about the day today. Uh, obviously, it looks like it is flaring right now. If you look very closely, this is very bright, very bright structure here on this image. That means it's currently flaring or about ready to produce a large flare. Uh, it looks like we are into uh, well, upper C flare category currently from that sunspot. Hasn't peaked out yet, but uh, can kind of watch that and see how, it, uh, see how it goes. Either way, numerous sunspots are kicking up out here on the sun and we'll uh, continue to report back on that. All right, uh, in the meantime, watch New Zealand North. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm still kind of thinking, still kind of thinking about this area here. Let me go back seven days. Actually, let's go back 30 days. Still kind of watching this area, even though uh, they did have a 6.2 back on the 15th of January. It has been relatively light north of this area uh, and around the Himalayas recently. 
in terms of larger scale movement. If you discredit this <coughs> this uh, 6.2 into the uh, northern end of the Java Trench, it still leaves a wide area of the plate boundary that really hasn't moved as uh, far as large scale activity goes in quite a while. And this is just the last 30 days. It goes back prior to that. There's a little absent area here. <coughs> Goodness, along the Java Trench. Something in the air today. I don't know what it is, but it's killing me. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here before I completely lose my voice here, and I'll just have to be pointing. That would not be good. Just have to kind of explain what's going on here somehow. In the meantime, have a good day, guys. We'll catch you sometime a little bit later on this evening. Of course, we will be monitoring activity out here, so we'll be off here on the side uh, seeing how everything plays out uh, but I do think I'm gonna look at this 4.6 down here a little bit more and um, see if it's legitly a 4.6 or again another error from the GeoNet server so we'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight have a good one